To Kill a Mockingbird from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. To Kill a Mockingbird is a Pulitzer Prize winning novel by Harper Lee, published in 1960. It was instantly successful upon its release and has become a classic of modern American fiction. The novel is loosely based on the author's observations of her family and neighbors, as well as an event that occurred near her hometown in 1936 when she was 10 years old. The novel is renowned for its warmth and humor, despite dealing with the serious issues of rape and racial inequality. The narrator's father, Atticus Finch, has served as a moral hero for many readers and a model of integrity for lawyers. One critic explained the novel's impact by writing, In the 20th century, To Kill a Mockingbird is probably the most widely read book dealing with race in America, and its protagonist Atticus Finch the most enduring fictional image of racial heroism. As a southern gothic novel and Bildungsroman, the primary themes of To Kill a Mockingbird involve racial injustice and the destruction of innocence, but scholars have also noted that Lee addresses the issues of class tensions, courage and compassion, and gender roles in the American Deep South. The book is widely taught in schools in English-speaking countries with lessons that emphasize tolerance and decry prejudice. Despite its themes, To Kill a Mockingbird has been the target of various campaigns to have it removed from public classrooms. Often the book is challenged for its use of racial epithets, and writers have noticed that although white readers react favorably to the novel, black readers tend to respond less positively. Lee's novel was initially reviewed by at least 30 newspapers and magazines, which varied widely in their assessment of it. More recently, it has been ranked by librarians before the Bible as a book every adult should read before they die. The book was adapted into an Oscar-winning film in 1962 by director Robert Mulligan with a screenplay by Horton Foote. Since 1990, a play based on the novel has been performed annually in Harper Lee's hometown of Monroeville, Alabama, transforming the town into a tourist destination. To date, it is Lee's only published novel, and although she continues to respond to the book's impact, she has refused any personal publicity for herself or the novel since 1964. Section 1, Biographical Background and Publication Born in 1926, Harper Lee grew up in the southern town of Monroeville, Alabama, where she became close friends of the soon-to-be-famous writer Truman Capote. She attended Huntington College in Montgomery, and then pursued a law degree at the University of Alabama. While attending college, she wrote for campus literary magazines, Huntress at Huntington and the Humor Magazine, Rammer Jammer, at the University of Alabama. At both schools, she wrote short stories and other works about racial injustice, a rarely mentioned topic on these campuses at the time. In 1950, she moved to New York City, where she worked as a reservation clerk for British Overseas Airways Corporation. There, she began writing a collection of essays and short stories about people in Monroeville. Hoping to be published, Lee presented her writing in 1957 to a literary agent recommended by Capote. An editor, a J.B. Lippincott, advised her to quit the airline and concentrate on writing. Donations from friends allowed her to write uninterrupted for years. Lee spent two and a half years writing To Kill a Mockingbird. A description of the book's creation by the National Endowment for the Arts relates an episode wherein Lee became so frustrated that she tossed the manuscript out of the window into the snow. Her agent made her retrieve it from the street. The book was published on July 11, 1960. It was initially titled Atticus, but Lee retitled the novel to, to reflect a story that went beyond a character portrait. The editorial team at Lippincott warned Lee that she would probably sell only several thousand copies at the most. In 1964, Lee recalled her hopes for the book when she said, I never expected any sort of success with Mockingbird. I was hoping for a quick and merciful death at the hands of the reviewers, but, at the same time, I sort of hoped someone would like it just enough to give me encouragement, public encouragement. I hoped for little, as I said, but I got rather a whole lot, and in some ways this was just about as frightening as the quick, merciful death I'd expected. Instead of a quick, merciful death, the book was republished in part by Reader's Digest Condensed Books, which gave it a wide readership immediately. Since its publication, it has never been out of print.